All right, thanks for joining me again, guys. I know I'm doing this camera thing kind of weird because I'm filming it off my phone. I'm not filming it with a real camera. Um, and this director's view mode thing, which I don't know if you guys will like or not like or whatnot. I want, I want you guys to let me know. Welcome to part two of my Stephen King Blu-ray collection. Uh, we left off with It, the original It. So obviously I have the remake um, of It was not a fan of this actor who did um, this Pennywise. The Tim Curry's version was much, much, much better. But I did like how they split the movies up into two movies. There's this one. This one portrays them when they're all kids, right? And chapter two portrays them when they are all adults. I do like how they use the same actor from the first and the second movie, even though I didn't like the actor, um, it was kind of, it would have killed it if they used another actor to, to switch Pennywise. But, um, like I said, the first one is the children. This one's the adults. That was adults about a clown that haunts people and kills children. Um, so they, they come back to fight him in number two. I would definitely recommend the original one. The second one, is meh it's definitely not as good as the original one with tim curry um but the original it is a classic it's a must watch um and then we have misery and this one's about a, an author who is driving the snowy woods and wrecks his car and is found by his number one fan cocky doodle do i hope i said that right i know people who haven't watched this movie are like what the fuck is this guy talking about um, and she nurses him, let me do the air quotes, nurses him back to health, and then she kind of keeps him hostage once she finds out how her favorite books are going to go. And this has a very famous scene where she, um, right there, hobbles him, and she takes a sledgehammer and two, two pieces of wood and literally just his leg, and it, it looks nasty. Um, it has uh, Kathy Bates... This was her best role ever. Um, James Can, I'm guessing that's him. This is a great movie. Definitely one you gotta watch. It's it's more of a psychological thriller. It's not really a horror because there's no monsters. It's all plausible. Just a crazy fan, stalker, and yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Drawn Together, which was a TV show from the 2000s, I think. Very crude, like way worse than South Park. They mimicked misery where the princess was uh making wildor sick but yeah okay this one was called i think this is actually the second one um or maybe it's, maybe it is sometimes they come back sometimes they come back it's about this guy who starts a teaching job at a school in a small town and he is haunted by these ghosts, by these things, um, from his childhood, and, yeah, um, I think they made three of these. Sometimes they come back, sometimes they come back again, sometimes they come back for more, I think the titles were. Um, I don't have the other ones yet, and I haven't seen them in years. Um, but if I remember right, it was actually an alright movie, it was quite decent, I mean, the acting was alright, the effects were, they looked pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes they come back, uh, says there's two different versions. I think I, yeah, two versions on one Blu-ray. So I'm guessing there's two different versions on this. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it was, it, it was entertaining. I mean, it wasn't, I have to run out and, you know, buy posters and love this movie forever. It, it was all right. It definitely wasn't the best Stephen King, but Yeah. This next one's kind of fucking weird. My wife actually found this one at a flea market. Um, the wrong, the lawnmower man. It's about a handicapped gardener who tries the scientist's game and it starts making him super, super, super smart. Um, it's got really bad, really bad CGI effects. Like that's actually how the movie looks. Um, he starts wanting to essentially destroy the planet. Or I, 
I, I don't remember. I watched it one time. I was like, uh, uh. Um, but yeah, the Rosemary Man. Yeah, definitely. Unless you're a Stephen King fan, I'd probably say stay away from it. It was really, really weird. Uh, the next one, the Schlafwanderer. Um, this one's called um, uh, um, the Sleep, the Sleepwalkers, Sleepwalkers. Um, this one was weird. Um, as well, it was about a son and mother living together, and they like to have lots of sex with each other, and they're monster things and. They're allergic to cats, um, hence the cover. Um, and they're trying to live their life, and things start unraveling quickly. And yeah, I mean, you can see it right there. I, I don't really remember uh, why they, like some people go missing or die or something like this, and then that's when it all starts to unravel. I don't remember if it was intentional or why they were killing the people. I don't I don't fully remember. It's been a long time since I watched the movie. Uh, it's an, unless you're a Stephen King fan, that's another one I would probably skip. Um, but the next one, I love the next one. Uh, okay, now, this is The Stand. It is about a virus called Captain Trips, which essentially destroys, I, I think it's um, uh, the entire planet, but it only shows America. Um, I had actually bought the stand, which, do I still have it? Wait, uh, hold, hold, hold the video. Okay, so I went to look. I guess I already sold it. I don't think I did, though. But anyway, uh, so I had the stand from the 80s, because I love that movie. And then... It was my birthday, and I got a gift card, so I went and bought the remade version of The Stand. And come to find out, it had the remake and the original in it. So I was like, okay, I, I don't need the other version. If this has both. Um, as, as, as I was saying before, before I paused the video, uh, this virus wipes out the planet, and they start dreaming about this woman. Some Some are dreaming about this woman. Others are dreaming about... The Dark Man. Um, and it's pretty much a battle between the Dark Man and the one group. So I don't want to say any spoilers because if you haven't seen it, you've got to see it. It's a great, fantastic movie. Even the original had really good effects. Um, it has Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump. It has... Uh, the guy from this Cheers series from the early 80s, I think it was. Um, uh, the new the new version has Whoopi Goldberg in it. Um, the rest of the cast, I don't really know of. But great, great movie, TV show, sorry. Um, definitely watch the first one. It's super long, though, like super long. Uh, the remade version is 510 minutes. So it's essentially a TV series. Um, the 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 original is actually a little bit shorter. So yeah, if, if you got like a, a super long weekend, go for it. Please do. I love that movie. I recommend it fully. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption, another Stephen King movie that's not a horror movie and was fantastic. Uh, it's about a banker. I think he was a banker who goes to prison for murdering his wife. And his story of surviving. And also with Morgan Freeman, as you see. Um, it's a really great movie. It's super long, though, as well. Um, 136 movies. Uh, 136 movies. 136 minutes. Um, definitely not a horror, but an amazing one. Um, oh, I was just about to say, why is it back in English? But I can see it's from the UK. It's a it's a must watch, but don't expect a horror movie. It's the same thing as Stand by Me. Um, it's one of those type of movies. Um, all right, damn, got a lot of movies here. It looks like I got to do a part three actually. So I'm gonna stop this video here, and we're gonna do a part three since I still have a whole stack. So if you guys like these movies, if you hated them, 
if you've seen them, you want to see them, let me know. I really love talking movies with people. I really do. Um, let me know in the comments, and hopefully I will see you in part three of my Stephen King Blu-ray collection.